Hey guys, it's you. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today we've got the 2014 All-Star Pitcher Buy, Keep, or Sell Guide. Before I jump into it, uh, I did start a fantasy football league up yesterday. 20-team league. Currently, 13 spots are filled out of 20. There were 15 teams, but two people had signed up twice, so I kicked out their second account. So there's seven spots left. If you haven't signed up yet and want to, make sure to check that out. Link will be in the description. Anyways, now on to the players. First off, this Clayton Kershaw. In my favorites, very expensive. Even Out of my price range, even if he was available. But that command and that stuff and the stamina, oh my goodness. If you can somehow afford him, I think he's probably the best starting pitcher in the game. If you're in need of coins, number one, you'll absolutely be able to sell him. Number two... Let me know you got him. I'll figure out a way to save up and buy him. Next up, Felix Hernandez. Less than half the price of Kershaw. Okay, look. Honestly, Kershaw, for 240 mil, that's crazy. I'm just saying from the standpoint of he's got the best stats. Realistically, unless you have a super team, you should sell him and buy multiple beast starters with what you get back. That's my honest opinion. But I ser I seriously would be willing to help someone sell their Kershaw. Anyways, Felix Hernandez, about 110 mil, 84 overall, very good command break and stuff, solid stamina, and the nice six-pitch mix. I've been thinking about getting him. I might... Well, I shouldn't say I might, I might get him around this price point. The market is pretty crazy right now, but clearly I have a lot of gold coins, points, whatever, too. Next up, John Lester. Good command and stuff. Break, okay. 42 mil. Um, I, honestly, compared to the 100 mil of Hernandez, that's another good buy. I think that's why there's not on the market as well. So I, I would say bye. Next up, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Tony Watson. And I'm pretty sure I bought him. He was much cheaper when I bought him. At his current price, I would probably honestly sell. Because I'm pretty sure I got him in the 20 mil-ish range. And now he's up to 41 he does have a nice pitch mix, and it, once he throws some gear, level him up. His pitches are all C grade or above. He's got good command. You can get his break and stuff up pretty nicely. Uh, very well-rounded reliever. I just think at that price point, you should sell. Uh, Adam Wainwright. Good stamina, good command, good stuff. Break is so-so. Pitch mix is interesting. Uh... I would, I would probably buy personally. Honestly, I wouldn't fall. No, I, I'd say buy or keep. Max Scherzer for thirty six mil. This version of the card, wow. Honestly, I think that's better than the Wainwright. So hundred percent would keep, or look to buy the Scherzer again, depending on your market. This Chris Sale card, very good stuff. Good command. I feel like most of these starters you can justify buying. It's Grinky. Good command, good stuff, good stamina, six pitch mix. Another one I could justify buying. Greg Holland, a closer with four pitches. Good command, good break. So so on stuff. Velocity is so so. But. You know, he looks to me like in a roll to Chapman, a little less velocity, but a curveball. And I could justify buying him for that reason. Tyler Clippard for 20 mil, I would sell. Because he's a lower overall, stats are lower, pitches are graded worse. Just not really worth it. A roll to Chapman. Right? Okay, so he has higher velocity, more break, less... Command, a little bit better stuff. 
If you look at him compared to Greg Holland, Holland has that extra pitch. Holland's market is lowering, whereas Chapman's is rising. I would sell Chapman and look to buy Holland, especially if you have other lefty bullpen options and can have the righty in the closer spot. You Darvish for 13 mil. I would sell. There's uh, other budget starters you can find. Fernando Rodney, I'd sell just because he has a really ugly. Wow. Nolan Arenado, 5 for 5, 7 RBIs in the 6th inning and 3 homers. That's crazy. Anyways, Fernando Rodney, because he only has the 3 pitches and it's. I mean, it's not the worst 3 pitch combo. I I could buy him, but I would I would look to sell him. I I don't know. I just don't like the Fernando Rodney's cards. Um, Alfredo Simone for nine and a half mil, solid command and stuff, especially once you upgrade a bit. At that price point, I'd buy him. Craig Kimbrell, I'd sell just because of the pitch mix. He's really only like a one or two batter pitcher, and that's not really going to cut it. Scott Casimir, there's none available. If you could get one, sure, I I could get one and then just upgrade your command, uh, your break, your stuff, get those pitches to the C level. Um, yeah. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I apologize. Pat Neshek, a side armor, four pitches. The stats are really low, though, and if his price is seriously 6.4 mil, unless you find that you want that funky delivery to mess with opponents and you have success with it, I would sell, because I think the funky delivery is less of a factor than it used to be, uh, but you're still going to find people who think it's a big factor. Next up, you have Koji Uihara, six pitches. His stats, compared to Nishak, I think are significantly better. Uh, although Uihara is a closer. So a six-pitch closer, you would have to work to get those pitches from Ds to Cs. Let's see. So you have to get it to this plus-four level. Or something close to it to get those to C's. It would be a bit of work. But at his plus one level, he has very nice stats. I could I could justify it, but I would probably sell uh, Sean Doolittle. See, I, I could almost sell Uihara by Doolittle. Only four pitches, but good stats. And that four pitch mix is very nice. You got Francisco Rodriguez, K-Rod. I like his pitch mix. I would buy him too. Again, lefty versus righty, you'd have to think. I like a do little Rodri or Rodriguez if you're in that price point. Glenn Perkins, only three pitches. I bought him for my Twins lineup, but if I pulled him and wasn't a Twins fan, I would sell him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Comment your opinions. Uh... Like I said, it's opinions, and with me having the coins I have, being in the mindset I'm in, I might be looking at these players differently than I used to, differently than other people are. If you're looking for a budget B series, uh, check out New England's channel. He's been doing budget B series, and I, I haven't watched all of them yet, but I've watched some of them. I found his information is very solid. Uh... And also, so you're not mad at me hyping up these expensive players that I want and have really nice stats when you're looking for budget beasts. So ho hopefully that will steer you into the right part of the marketplace if that's what you're looking for. As a reminder, while the All-Star events are going on, make sure to uh, be simulating your seasons, getting those double coins. But MG, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, and as always... Peace out.